Ryan Johnson is hands down one of my favorite people out there. So what is something that he did for you on set as an actor's director that made him stand out from other directors you've worked with? Ryan Johnson is one of my favorites as well. And he doesn't have an ego. He just knows what he wants. He allows freedom of creativity for all of the actors on set. Um, and he's also just a very genuinely nice human being. Um, so much love to Ryan Johnson and everything that he does. Um, I, I remember, you know, talking about kind of freedom and, and being a lovely human being. He noticed that um, in between scenes that I was in, that I would go behind the cameras and that I would watch um, what other people were doing and also the setups of different shots. And that, that's something that I've kind of been doing more and more, I think, just because I really like it and I'm curious, like, how things work. But he saw that I was doing that, so he would almost always make sure that there was a place for me to be in between setups, like next to him, behind him, to go and watch what was happening. And that, to me, like, was really, really special because, again, he's an incredible director. He's also incredibly busy directing and doing everything. So to even think of having a place and just kind of letting me watch his work was really special and, um, yeah, a really great memory. As though I couldn't like him more than I already did, that makes me even happier. So wait, if you're super interested in the behind the scenes stuff and the setups, what was it like watching Steve Yedlin work? Because I, I can't process what goes through his brain. He's incredible. I love that you love Stevie. Yeah, they have such a kind of synonymous language. I think I was talking to him about how he made his own color palette or something. Like when, when you set up a shot, so the camera can identify, it's like on your iPhone, if you click this here, it's probably quite bright. But then like, if you, if you click that, it will be dark and then the rest will be, yeah. So he, I think, told me about how he created his own palette and I just thought that was very cool. Um, but yeah, there was a really great atmosphere on set and not, not too dissimilar to, to actually spontaneous. Like Brian was also very freeing and fun and just like had his parameters of, okay, like, let's get the job done, but also I want this to be a creative space. And I think when you can get the best of both worlds, I mean, that's, that's kiss. 